Hey everyone, this is part one of my makeup collection. Um, I've been on YouTube for eight months and this is definitely the thing that people keep requesting so I was apprehensive about doing it because I didn't want to get hater comments but if I get hater comments I'll just block them. I mean that's really all you can do, right? So, um, okay, let's just get right to it then with part one because I already tried to film this before and I couldn't fit it within the 10 minutes that YouTube allows. So this is part one and let's begin. Okay, this is my setup. These are just, you know, those typical plastic drawers that uh, everybody gets. Um, I get mine from Target and there's my makeup mirror and um, I've got some uh, Vaseline to uh, fix makeup mistakes <laughs> and some um, baby wipes to wipe my hands or wipe the table because this is actually a plastic it's a piece of plastic um, uh, material from a craft store that way if I spill something I can just wipe it up and I'm not gonna damage like a beautiful tablecloth or anything this is my timer because I have to time my videos otherwise I go over <laughs> and um, these are some uh, trolls or wishnicks or you know different people have different names for them and there's the brush holder that my friend Marianne made me for Christmas and there's the Mac holiday bag that they were giving out with the holiday collection this Christmas okay so let's get started with the drawers in the first drawer over here is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I've got a hairbrush, Q-tips, cotton balls, a travel brush kit, sponge tip applicators, makeup sponges, more Q-tips, um, you know, just miscellaneous stuff. And then this drawer is my... let me move this out of the way. This drawer is all my foundations, face primers, and concealers. And um, these ones in the front here are my favorite. The Revlon Photo Ready uh, MAC Studio Sculpt Makeup Forever HD Foundation NARS Sheer Glow. And then this is the face primer, the MAP, uh, MAC Prep and Prime Skin that I just picked up the other day. Love, love, love this stuff. Um, and some drugstore foundations and primers and um, this is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer which is my favorite one that I found so far and yeah that's it for that and then this drawer underneath here is all my um, setting powders I used to like to use loose powder with a big fluffy brush but now I'm really into using a kabuki brush with pressed powder and I usually use the MAC Studio Fix powder or the Maybelline Dream Matte powder. Okay, And then these little ones here I have um, some NYC bronzer in here. I don't use bronzer too often but you know once in a while it's fun and this is a really good bronzer for the price but unfortunately it's been discontinued so whatever is left at your drugstore is all that there will be for the future and then in this drawer is all my eyeshadow primers and bases I have Urban Decay Primer Potion and Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, Cliché Cosmetics MAC Paint Pots a couple of NYX Jumbo Pencils, and then the rest are all those L'Oreal paints that I got um, last week, I guess it was, on clearance. And then these are all my um, mascaras. And my favorite ones in here are my Estee Lauder Magnoscopic uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion. And um, the YSL is pretty good too, and the, the Maybelline Pulse Perfection one. And then these other ones are like uh, Wet n Wild and Rimmel and Maybelline and stuff. 
And the next drawer is all my eyeliners. I have a ton of pencil eyeliners, but I also have um, a Revlon gel one, and then some cheap liquid liners, and some sharpeners, and um, my eyeliners are like all different brands. They're Jordana and Milani, and um, I have a few different kinds in there. Um, Elf. But yeah, those are all eyeliners. And then this is just, um, you know, an eyelash curler and some eyebrow stencils and an eyebrow pencil and a pair of tweezers. And then this bottom drawer is just my camera case and my battery charger and a tripod. Okay, and then over here is, um, these are my blushes and highlighters. And the reason why I have this MAC 187 brush in here is because this is what I use to apply my blush and highlighter. And um, my blushes are mainly, um, I have NARS, Orgasm, and Deep Throat. And I've got that MAC one that I just showed you yesterday from the Spring Color Forecast Collection, which I like very much, by the way. I, I've got it on today. This is MAC Super Duper Natural from the Holiday Collection this year. This is um, MAC by Candlelight Highlighter from Warm and Cozy. And then uh, Benefit Sugar Bomb, and the rest are Drugstore. Okay. And then the next one is my MAC Eyeshadows. And um, it's sort of a combination of limited edition and permanent um, so that's you know I'm, I obviously can't go through them all and tell you what they are because it would take too long that's what I have for MAC eyeshadows now this drawer <laughs> this is huge um, this is all my drugstore single eyeshadows uh, those little plastic containers with the blue tops are Tupperware, and I had to depot some uh, loose eyeshadows that I had because I couldn't get at the product, so I had to depot them and put them in those little containers. Um, the rest of this is, oh my gosh, Maybelline, LA Colors, Jordana, CoverGirl, Revlon, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's my single eyeshadows and then this right down here is I guess what most people would call palettes although some of them are just two shadows so it's not exactly a palette but anyway um, let's see what we got here we've got a lot of LA colors palettes that I bought at Dollar Tree um, these are actually pretty good for a buck you know surprisingly I just wanted like a wide variety of colors and it works and these e.l.f. ones are only a dollar, too. You can get these at Kmart, and um, they're actually pretty good, too. And then Wet n' Wild is, is um, decent. You can get these at Rite Aid. And then I've got some Revlon, and some CoverGirl, and Maybelline, and Rimmel. And this thing here is, um, this is clean color. And uh, I bought this at this little, tiny, like, independently owned gift shop. And um, it's pretty colors in here, and it was, uh, it was inexpensive. But they have a website if you want to, uh, you know, I've never seen them at any other stores before, but it's, it's uh, Clean Color, K-L-E-A-N-C-O-L-O-R.com is their website if you want to get more information about that. They're fun to play with. And then this right here is uh, an e.l.f. quad compact that you can customize. And I'm about to hit 10 minutes, so we're going to stop it right here. Stay tuned for part two.